Hey, what is going on everyone? This is Ari Views back with another video and we're talking about iOS 14.5. Now this software is right now on its beta stages, but it is amazing. I'm very surprised that this late on iOS 14, Apple is still adding some really amazing features. So in this video, I will focus on some amazing hidden features of iOS 14 and some crazy tricks that are actually very useful that you can perform on your device using those new features. You probably have heard about the orientation lock feature that Apple has added to the shortcuts app. Basically, you can create a shortcut that will toggle on and off the orientation lock. Now by itself, this is not that useful. It will be way easier for you to just bring down the control center and turn on or off the orientation lock on your device. But when you combine this with other iOS 14.5 features, then it is amazing and game changing as well. So here are a few things that you can do with this new shortcut. First of all, you will need to create the shortcut. So you go to add action right here and just go ahead and search for orientation. And here we have orientation lock. Now here you have two different features. You can see where it says toggle. If you do this, then this shortcut will enable and disable the orientation lock. Of course, when it's on, it basically turns it off. When it's off, it turns it on. If you want to create one that just turns on or turns off the orientation lock, then you go ahead, tap right there. It shows this menu, tap on turn and choose whether you want to turn it on or off. But for now, we will use toggle and this is really cool. What you gotta do here is tap next and just name the shortcut. And just like that, click done. Now here we have this shortcut, but what you can do with this shortcut? As I said, when you combine it with other iOS 14.5 features, it is an amazing shortcut. So for example, you can use back tap, double tap or triple tap on the back of your iPhone to turn on or off orientation lock. And that's really cool. You go to access accessibility here, you go to touch and scroll down here to back tap use double tap or triple tap, whichever one you want, and go ahead and find the shortcut and select it that you just created. And from now here, you don't have to actually go to the control center to turn on or off orientation lock. So you're on an app, you're watching a video or something, all you gotta do is just double tap or triple tap on the back of your iPhone. Another amazing thing you can do with the orientation lock shortcut is utilize it to turn off or on orientation lock based on apps that you use. And of course that combined with the automations. So what you gotta do here is create a new shortcut. Let's just search for orientation lock right here. Here we have it and go ahead and switch to turn. So in this case, I wanna create a shortcut to automatically turn off orientation lock. So keep this at off right here, click next. Let's just name this off click done and we're good to go. Now I go to automations, create a personal automation and go ahead and choose app right here. Choose the app in this case, I want YouTube. So anytime I will enter YouTube, orientation lock will be turned off automatically, of course, if it's on. So let's just go ahead and tap next, add action, search for run. And here we have run, sh run shortcut. So let's go ahead and choose run shortcut and choose the shortcut we just created. Click the next button, disable this, and we're good to go. Now you can see right here, I have orientation lock turned on. Whenever I go ahead and open YouTube, right there you can see it turns it off automatically. So that's really great, an amazing feature to have on your device and that of course all with the new update of iOS 14.5. Now in this case, I can go ahead and create another shortcut here to turn on automatically the orientation lock when I go ahead and exit the YouTube app. So let's just go ahead and try that as well. So orientation lock, turn, and let's just go ahead and turn it on right there and now create a new automation Let's just do this real quick. Is closed. In this case, we choose is closed. Choose YouTube right here. Click done. Tap next, add the action. Run a shortcut here and choose the on shortcut. Tap next, disable this. 
tab done and here we have it so you can see whenever i go ahead let's just go ahead turn this on i open youtube it turns the orientation lock off automatically i go ahead and exit youtube it will do the same it will now turn it back on automatically you could see those notifications from the shortcuts app whenever i enter and exit youtube those are annoying so you can actually disable those by going to screen time under settings go to see all activity and find here notifications and find shortcuts and from here you will basically get the option to actually go ahead and just turn these off so you can just completely turn off the notifications from the shortcuts app another shortcut that apple has added with ios 14.5 is a shortcut that lets you take a screenshot now that's not really that useful by itself of course you can easily take a screenshot with double tap or triple tap on the back of your iphone or using the buttons that will be much easier than using a shortcut but always when you combine that with other features in this case like the back tap you can create some pretty amazing results so what i can do right here is create a shortcut to take a screenshot so go ahead and choose here screenshot So here we have take a screenshot, but in this case, I want that screenshot to be saved on a certain album that I have on the camera roll of my device. So I can go ahead and just choose here, save photo, save photo to photo album right here and choose whichever album I want. In this case, I just want to choose this album. So here I have created this shortcut. So let's just name it. SC right there and here we have the shortcut that basically allows us to take a screenshot with the photo being saved to a certain album so what we can do here is actually go ahead and just try to add this to the back tap feature so if we go here and we add this to the back tap feature now we will have basically a shortcut that will save the screenshot on a certain album that we want so double tap right there it takes a screenshot and that will be saved automatically on that album that we just chose so you can see right here we on the whatsapp album and here we have the screenshot that we just took seconds ago so anytime i take a screenshot you will see that it will be automatically saved right here so you can see it will add it right now so that's pretty pretty cool so anytime you go ahead and take a screenshot you can choose to which exact album you want it to be saved so that is this video guys these are some amazing features that apple has added to ios 14 and of course of course iOS 14.5 and when you combine it with other features of iOS 14.5 you can get some pretty cool results so that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed the video leave a like if you did also don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this and for more iOS 14.5 news so currently iOS 14.5 is on beta stages it will be released to the public in a few weeks so if you want to try out these features and you don't have the beta or the public beta then you will have to wait until march for these features so again thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next one